Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel where you learn everything about analytics and automation. In the last video on SharePoint for Beginners series, I walk you through how we get our Microsoft form responses populated on this SharePoint list using Power Automate and then we build this flow. In case you don't know how we do this, you can always check the comment section for the link to the previous video so that you don't get to miss anything. In the last video, I also explained how the information that is being retrieved from these Microsoft Forms does not include the employee name. However, you can get the email and other questions on the form. In this video, I'm going to show you how do we retrieve these uh, details from Office 365. What are we going to do here? We will need an action card called Get User Profile. The Get User Profile will go into Office 365. And retrieve the details using your email address so get user profile action card you are expected to pass either the user principal name or the email address which we have the responder email and what that means is once I have it here in the next action card I'll be able to reuse in the in my dynamic content I'll be able to reuse all those information that the get user profile action card has retrieved Take for example here, I don't have anything here, you know, aside the get response details and the first action card. So back to our SharePoint uh, uh, create item action card, the employee name. When I click here and you see the dynamic content, there are several new informations now with these Office 365 icons, which means that this information are retrieved from this action card. They are what this action card returns. The name, the full name of the person you are looking for is called display name. So search for display name, that is the full name. Now I'm going to save, going to save this flow and fill the form to test again. This time around, I'm going to test and I will let them know uh, maybe the decision is maybe, I'm not sure if I'm going, but I'll be able to tell you in the next five days, I just want to check how things are really going. I'm going to submit. Alright, let us check our SharePoint list if this information is there. Not only that, do we have the name of the person there as well. Awesome. Do you see that now? My responses, I said, um, are you willing to go? Maybe. And it's in five days. In five days time, I will be able to get back to you. This is my email. And this is the name of the account that fills the form. This is Global Power Platform Bootcamp Festival 2021. I'm still going to share the link with you once it's it's actually live, but it's coming up February 20th, 2021 in Nigeria. But the goal here is to see how it retrieves the name. Through this action card, get user profile, you're able to retrieve the name of the person that fills the form. By the way, remember that that person must be, be within your organization. So if someone outside the organization, there's no way you can retrieve the name, except you add a feed on your form requesting for that person to fill his or her own name. In the next video, I'm going to show you more, uh, especially how do you then build an approval? How do you set an approval action card in your flow? Don't forget to like and subscribe to my, like the video and subscribe to my channel so that I don't get to miss out any of the videos when they drop. Thank you.